And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Vince W. Smith. And Vince W. Smith writes, Hey, John. Okay, I'm officially confused here. We all know about the images that got out a couple of days ago. I have no idea what you're talking about, Vince. Just so you know, when you mention images that got out a few days ago, I have no idea what you're talking about. I am completely oblivious to whatever reality you're talking about. Um, but I just read a quote from a new interview with Total Film. Uh, I love Total Film, by the way. This morning with Tom Holland that he is insisting that Toby and Andrew are not in this new film. So either the pictures are fake or Holland is straight up lying to the fans. Which is it? Okay. That, uh, that's, thanks for sending that in, Vince. And uh, yeah, listen, it's no surprise that this entire time leading up to No Way Home, uh, people have been denying things. Andrew Garfield has been denying his involvement. I believe Tobey Maguire denied his involvement. Tom Holland has been denying that those guys are in the movie. That's been going on. Now, of course, then came those pictures that got released online the other day, which is leading a lot of people to believe, well, obviously, that's not true. They are going to be in the movie, as a matter of fact. That's what a lot of people believe. Well, that apparently hasn't stopped Tom Holland from still denying it. That hasn't stopped him from still trying to deny it. So this is interesting. So uh, last, yesterday, somebody sent this to me. But Total Film had done this interview with uh, Tom Holland. They were talking to him about No Way Home and everything. And Tom Holland just basically straight up said and insisted that they're not in it. They're not in it, which was interesting. Again, this comes to us from the folks at Total Film who write, this is Tom Holland's quote from Total Film saying, people still don't believe me when I say that McGuire and Garfield are not coming back. But people are going to have to believe me at some point. Again, people don't believe me when I say that McGuire and Garfield are not coming back, but people are going to have to believe me at some point. And that, of course, comes to us from Tom Holland. All right. Thanks for sending that to us, Tom. So I don't blame you if you write when you write in and you say, I'm a little bit confused now. There are these pictures and then there are uh, continue to be these denials. All right, so what do I think? You know I have believed for a while. I mean, if you go back a year or more, I was like, nah, Tom and, you know, Toby and and uh, Andrew are not coming back, right? But then a number of months ago, I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to see too much and hear too much. Same stuff you guys were seeing and hearing. I'm starting to see too much and hear too much. Even though there is no evidence, you know, Toby and Andrew are going to be in this movie. I, I think I now believe they will be. I mean, there was no evidence that they would be, but I now believe they will be. So there's that. Then, of course, the pictures come out. And now everybody th and everybody thinks they're real. Um, I, I mean, I still don't know what to think about them, to be honest. And then hearing Tom Holland come out and say this is this. But look, I will say this. I don't know. It's an interesting catch. Because... If Tom Holland is right, well, then this is what he needs to say, but nobody's going to believe him. If Tom Holland is misleading us, then the question kind of becomes, well, what else is he supposed to do right now? You know, he can't come out if it is true and if the pictures are real and if it is true and all that kind of stuff. What's Tom Holland supposed to say? Is he supposed to say, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Might as well tell you guys, what's he supposed to say? So he's in massive denial mode. Look, and I ain't saying that it's impossible that Tom Holland saying that this isn't true, that they're not coming back. I'm not saying it's not possible that he's right. It is possible he's right. I mean, we've got this movie coming out here real shortly. And it's completely possible we walk in there and find out, oh, yeah, Tom Holland was right. They're not here. It's increasingly unlikely, but it's still possible. But again, it's that catch. It's a little bit of a catch. Because if he's absolutely telling us the truth right now, I don't think yet right now anybody's going to believe him. And if he's lying right now, well, what else is he supposed to do? 
What else is he supposed to say? But this does create a problem. All right, I want to talk about this for a second. It creates a little bit of a problem. You go back to say, what was the name of the second J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie, guys? Like, was it Into Darkness? I think it was Into Darkness, the one where Benedict Cumberbatch was con. I think that one was called Into Darkness. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. But, or Sam Costos is saying, yes, it is Into Darkness. Okay, thank you for that. It creates a little bit of a problem for celebrities, Hollywood, and the trust relationship with the audience. Now, you go back to that Star Trek movie. Benedict Cumberbatch is uh, is in it. We know that. But people didn't know who he was playing. People didn't know who he was. I still remember at that time, that was the same year I was doing my annual panel at Comic-Con. I was doing my Masters of the Web panel. And my guest that year was Carl Urban from The Boys. But he wasn't on The Boys at that time. So Carl Urban was my guest. And Carl Urban and I are on the stage and we're talking. And we were talking about his movie Dread at the time. But of course he was coming up in Star Trek. And I turned to him and I asked him, I've got video of this. I turned to him and I asked him in the middle of our talk. I said, hey, Carl, who's the villain in Star Trek? Uh, and he, he said, uh, oh, they sent me this in case I was asked this question. And Carl Urban pulls out this big piece of duct tape and puts it over his own mouth, right? But anyway, that was the big question. Who's Benedict going to be? Who's Benedict going to be? And J.J. Abrams came straight out and said, well, he's not playing Khan. He's not Khan Noonien Singh. All right? He's not Khan Noonien Singh, I'll tell you that. Well, of course, he was Khan Noonien Singh. I remember Bradley Cooper, this is going back a little bit even further, I think. Bradley Cooper, when asked if he was going to be in the A-Team movie adaptation that they were doing with Liam Neeson, and he said no. Well, it turns out he was. Now, that had been a rare thing, right? Those types of straight up, uh, we'll just call them lies. They are, they're lies. They are lying, but they were lying for a good reason. Those kinds of lies were rare. It didn't often happen. You know, normally when an actor at that time would be asked about something, they would just answer it with no comment, right? So neither confirming nor denying, just no comment. But, you know, JJ straight up said, no, 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 he's not Khan Union Singh. He's not that. It's becoming more and more normal now that instead of sidestepping a question or just saying no comment to that, more and more often than not now, we get actors and directors in studios are actively trying to mislead or misdirect the audience, right? And I understand why. Let's let's go on the assumption for a second that Toby and... Uh, and Andrew are both going to be with Tom Holland in the Spider-Man movie, okay? Let's assume that for a moment. I get why Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire and everybody else is straight up actively denying it. I get it because that's something you want to save till you get closer to the movie. I still think they're going to put Toby in. If Toby and Andrew are in this movie, I still believe they're going to put them in a trailer. Because Sony is about selling tickets and nothing is going to sell tickets to this movie on this level, like putting these two in a trailer. That's going to sell all the tickets. It's not going to sell. I, I'm afraid what you heard me say was it's going to sell a lot of tickets. No, it's going to sell all the tickets. It's going to sell all the tickets. Is that a ticket over there? No, can't be because they've all been sold. Because everybody's going to go see Spider-Man No Way Home. Even people who don't give a crap about comic book movies, they're all going to go see Spider-Man No Way Home. It's going to sell all the tickets. So what are these guys supposed to do? They actively deny, actively deny, actively deny. But the problem that this sort of thing can become is that as it becomes more regular, it used to be that us movie fans could say, hey, yeah, but we, you know, an actor was asked a question and the actor answered it. Well, now we know the answer. But if this sort of thing continues to happen more and more and more, can we ever trust what an actor says as it pertains to a movie they have coming out? Can we ever believe what a director says as it pertains to a movie they have coming out? At what point 
does simple misdirect become so common and so regular that it's just straight up boldface lying? Like if they're in this movie and Tom Holland's saying, listen, I'm telling you, they're not in this movie. At some point, you got to believe me. And then it turns out they are. At what point do we as an audience just go, we don't believe anything any actor or any director ever says as it pertains to a movie they have coming out. And that's not a good place for us to be because it used to be that we as fans, we could rely on that. It's like, you want to know the answer to that question? We don't have to speculate. The director answered that. And again, I'm not saying anybody's doing anything wrong. I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't know what else Andrew and Tom or Toby are supposed to do when they get asked about this. I don't know what else you're supposed to do other than deny. But I'm just saying that it is a situation we have all put ourselves in that could lead to there being a fundamental break in the trust that average film fans, like all of us, can have when an actor or director says anything about a movie they have upcoming. We can't rely on any of it now. Are we there yet? No. Are we in danger of going there? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Number one, that Tom Holland is still actively insisting that Toby and Andrew are not in this movie. And if he's right, we're all going to look pretty silly. Do you believe him? Do you not believe him? And let's say for a second that it's true that Toby and Andrew are in it. Does this cause any concern moving forward about can we ever listen to anything an actor says or a director says or a studio says about an upcoming movie of theirs? I don't know. Is it even a problem? Whatever you guys are thinking about this, jump down into the comments section below and leave your thoughts there.